Experience America's greatest Ice Age treasure right here in Hot Springs, South Dakota. The Mammoth Site, featuring the fossils of 55 Colombian and woolly mammoths. I'm intrigued. I'm with the chief investigator here at the Mammoth Site, Dr. Egenbrod, who has been here since the beginnings. Take us back to 1974. What happened and how did you guys find this? Okay, there was a local contractor named Phil Anderson. He was uh, developing some area here in the southern portion of the city. His bulldozer operator, George Hansen, had been taking off the top of a hill. There's a red ball back up here on our rafters to show you where the hill was. He looked behind him and they had big bones sticking out of the ground every which direction. He called Phil, Phil said, <clears throat> this may be important. Let's see if somebody wants to get involved. Just, just maybe. <laughs> so let me ask you a very <clears throat> basic question. In the literature it says over 55, which now you've just discovered some more this summer, but it says 55 Colombian and woolly mammoths. 55 Colombian and woolly, but uh, three of them are woolies, and the rest of them are Colombian. What does that mean? That means that we've got the Arctic version of the mammoth and the temperate version of the mammoth. So which is which is Arctic? The uh, woolly. The woolly, okay. And you're seeing a nearly complete skeleton of a mammoth. That's pretty rare, isn't it? It's pretty rare, especially laid out for you like this. Entire vertebral, vertebral column, pelvis, hind legs still attached, shoulder blades, front legs, right up to the first neck vertebra. So why do you think this site out of Hot Springs? I mean, why, why are there so many fossils right here? Any I think, ideas? I think it was a good geologic, hydrologic, natural trap, and it's selective for behavior of young male mammoths, uh, which is a little bit almost embarrassingly too close to uh, our own species' young male behavior. They're getting into dumb places, and this one they couldn't get out. <laughs> The Mammoth Site offers tours, and I just noticed the tour come by and everybody had telephones. What are these all about? We can um, have the tour guide speaking over there into a speaker, and everyone can hear. If they have uh, hearing problems, they can turn the volume up or down. You don't have to try to ouch out the other tour guides. You know, I, I was born and raised in Rapid City, which is only an hour away from here, right. and I've never been here. This is an absolutely spectacular thing for people to see, whether you're from South Dakota or not. So why should our viewers come to the Mammoth site? You'll never see anything like this anywhere else. Absolutely. Thank you for the tour. You bet.